As the critically acclaimed trilogy, Lord of the Rings, depicts, castles were constructed of tall walls with large bodies of water surrounding them. These kingdoms also had armies wielding swords, shields, and bows to ward off invaders before they made it to the physical barrier of the castle. The problem is when these defenses failed, when those outside the castle made it inside. Films depicting the tragic fall of castles have attracted many diehard fans as these scenes no longer occur outside the box office. Or do they? No, I'm not suggesting that any Scottish castles will be seeds this century, but there are still wars being waged within bodies of millions of cattle annually. Yes, you heard me right. I speak not of waging war on castles, but of a war waged in cattle a militia of bacteria attempting to an entry into a highly protected fortress, the liver. The invasion of bacteria produces liver infections, also known as liver abscesses. These abscesses occur in over 20% of feedlot cattle annually, even after decades of research and antibiotic supplementation. The current hypothesis states that these bacteria march from the cattle's rumen, a stomach that is packed full of microbes, through the circulatory system to the liver. Upon arrival, the bacteria fight off the immune system, swords, arrows, and all. They break down the liver cells, storm the castle, and take no prisoners. Like a ruler attempting to keep my cattle livers safe, my research focuses on detecting and preventing the bacterial onslaught to the liver. The ability to diagnose a liver abscess has historically been limited to after animal harvest, when it is too late to study the cause of the infection. By bringing the 16th century stone castle to the 21st century with predictive technology like that of a radar, we could see signs of the approaching army before the entire castle falls. Our radar is a simple blood test taken from live animals which could capture early signs of the bacterial attack. This is possible because the presence of bacteria and their weaponry causes liver cells to change. We see changes in what is taken up from and released into the blood from stressed liver cells, also referred to as biomarkers. It is one thing to predict a liver abscess, but prevention is the goal, and real-time tracking of biomarkers would allow us to evaluate new preventative supplements more effectively. Testing and intervention would no longer require animals reaching harvest weight, sparing feeding resources, and increasing the speediness of results. Not to mention finally being able to describe when the infection occurred and how long it had been present. Data points that were previously not available. Much goes into protecting a castle from the bacterial militia, but with the use of 21st century prevention, the kingdom will remain steadfast to future threats.